today I am going to be showing you what is on my planner carts. I used to have an art cart and a planner cart and since then I have moved all the art supplies over to the craft room cabinets and now have two planner cards to hold everything. So I'm gonna be going through what I'm storing on here and how I'm storing each thing. My overall strategy was to create different zones within the two carts so I can easily find what I'm looking for. So let's start at the bottom here. I've spoken before about these daily sheets that I like to add to my planner on busy days and they often will come in these pads of paper but that doesn't fit in the filing system that I have set up for my inserts so I decided to keep that in the planner cart. Everything on these planner carts are things that I use most often, most regularly. And when I'm filming a video, I will roll these over next to my chair so that I have easy access to all the supplies. To the right of the paper pads are some sticker books. These are my favorite sticker books. I also have some sticker books in my craft room closet that I use less regularly, but I wanted to make sure that I have my favorites nearby when I'm planning. Up here I have my pen gems collection and I of course have my Papermate Inkjoy pen. Keep a ton of these because I never want to run out. These are my favorite pens to use in my planner. And then all of my Planner Society pens. Behind that I have this little pencil pouch that my brother got me for my birthday a couple years ago. And I have my eyelet pens in here. In this pouch, I have the refills for the pen gems. I have some extra mild liners because I keep running out of this color. It's my favorite color. In this pouch, I keep the pens that I use for doodling or um, sometimes I will write in my planner with these. These are Pigma Microns and also the EK Tools pens. In this pouch, I have all of my brush pens and calligraphy pens. So I'm trying to keep everything separate so that I can easily find things. I have this little tray with some decorative paper clips and binding clips. Right now, right now, right right Level 3 stores adhesives. The colorful pens that I don't use frequently and cutting tools. I am using the left container to store Tombow dual brush pens and to the right of that are Staedtler fine liners. And then I have this roll of tape to kind of do a, a 3D effect. I have the Tombow adhesive tape which I use all the time to adhere die cuts and scrap of paper to my planner. Back here I took this pencil holder and I used it to hide the zots, which are little glue dots, and these work really well to add lace die cuts or just really tiny pieces of paper onto your planner page. I'm using these home edit containers, and here I have the back stock of adhesive tape. For cutting tools, I have Fiskars micro tip scissors, which I use all the time to cut washi tape or scrap of paper. This second pair of scissors was given to me by someone at PlannerCon and they are meant for traveling so they can be taken on an airplane. I got these clear acrylic containers from Walmart. They are from the Home Edit and I love how they are a good size for this planner cart to keep everything contained within its category. So this is the punch board that I have from the Maggie Holmes collection and you can use it to punch different sizes of paper. I also have a ton of whiteout. I use whiteout in my planner literally every single day because I'm constantly making mistakes and I use it at work also in my work planner. So I always want to have extra whiteout on hand. Since I am keeping the punch board here, I also wanted to keep the Happy Planner full box punch down here so that it's 
maintained within the same section and so I can easily find it when I need to. And then I have my mild liners and I've mentioned this before but I use mild liners essentially every single day. They are so much fun to use for color coding. And then we get to the stencils. So this first pouch I have um, the stencils that I used in one of my previous videos where I showed how to use stencils in a planner and I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out but I have all the stencils for that set kept in here to the right of that I have a pouch with my other stencils that I use in my planner most of these are the check it off stencils that are sold by happy planner which are so good for adding check boxes to your planner. And then I just have an assortment of shapes. This planner sticker album is where I keep all of my loose sticker sheets that didn't come in a sticker book. And I like to try to keep them together based upon what kit they come with. And then I kind of break it down by what function they need to serve. Up here, I have some white gel pens and then these are just some decorative pens to the right of that are my paper mate flares i have them all in this pouch from the planner society and i'm using these wet erase markers which you see me use a lot on laminated inserts to kind of write on once it dries you can erase it and then use that insert again i'm using this to prop up the Planner Society pouch. Then I have all of my sticky notes in here. And I also have some page flags. Behind that are some paper clips and some pencils. These are all of my planner clips, planner charms, and planner bands. And I've grouped these based upon different categories. So up here I have the um, charms and then I have the planner bands kind of laying down on the side. Up here it's divided into kind of a wintry fall thing. This one is like fabric and bobby pins. Then I have bows, felt and wool, paper planner clips, and then planner clips that I've made. So some of these are made out of clay and then I have a video where I show how to make this geode planner clip and I'll link that down below for you if you want to see that. Passing by, life is good. I hope this video gave you some ideas for how to store things on your planner cards or just how to store planner supplies in general and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so